Hi everybody, it is November 14, 2018. Let's start this video listening to our fabulous Nancy Pelosi. Take it away, Nancy. First of all, we want, I want to extend my sympathy to the people who have lost their lives. This is really so tragic, so tragic. And it, we've had experience with terrible fires uh, before, and I know we have to do something. Of course, it relates uh, to a lot of things. I mean, uh, a lot of things. Huh? Uh, and she smiles. Um, it's tragic. Do you believe Nancy Pelosi actually cares? Well, what did she say? She wants to, um, she wants to, I don't know, send her sympathy to the people who have died. Um, you extend your sympathies to those who are still alive, who have lost loved ones, um, but Nancy Pelosi is known to not really uh, communicate quite um, effectively, um, properly, uh, intelligently. How is this woman? <laughs> I can't believe that this woman is still in office. Californians, man. Mm -mm -mm. That you have these crazy, crazy people representing you. Now, this was posted today on the 14th. Did Pelosi say anything before, before this statement? How, why didn't she go down to Chico? Why has she not been helping those who lost their homes? The, the, extraordinary number, staggering number of people who have lost their homes in paradise. Why doesn't she go down to Chico? This woman has so much money and, well, she enhanced her wealth as a representative of California, as they all do. She could easily donate one million dollars and not feel the squeeze to all of those that she represents in paradise in the go down to Chico. And in Hawaii, they, the community that lost their homes due to the volcano, the community band together and they actually came up with a really good idea for temporary housing, tiny housing. And they were easy to build. They immediately started building these tiny homes for all of those people who lost their homes. Why, why can't Nancy Pelosi donate some money to get that started instead of letting her constituents live in tent cities when it's now quite cold? Oh, Nancy. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. What she has been doing during these fires has been trying very hard to reestablish her power. It's all about Nancy, her power, and the power of the Democratic Party. That's been her focus while her constituents were dying horribly in a fire. And those who remain alive, surviving the fire, lost everything. Nancy, your priorities certainly speak volumes about who you are. Whether it's the, uh, the power company or whether it's climate change or whatever it is. But this is almost a freakish fire in the manner in which it, it has uh, uh, exploded. A freakish fire in the, uh, in the manner in which it exploded. A freakish fire in the manner that it exploded. You can listen to the next uh, 20 seconds by clicking on the link below. Uh, what does she say? Well, because it was so, you know, freakish that we, we have to really examine or scrutinize or whatever she says, um, all, everything. Oh, except for the 
forest forest management. You know what Trump said. We do it. No, Trump was wrong about that. But we we have to examine everything else. These people are still in grade school. Oh God. Well, freakish fire in the manner in which it exploded. I want to thank my subscriber for sending this article as well as what I'm going to be showing you in a second. But here, aluminum dust from geoengineering fueling super wildfires according to author. While researching for his new novel, author Dennis Mills discovered an alarming link between chemtrails and the super wildfires. The author discovered that unprecedented levels of aluminum and barium nanodust, primary components in the chemtrails, both of which are incendiary, are fueling the ferocity of the super wildfires. A retired United States Air Force Brigadier General, General Charles Jones, has been quoted from a public source as stating, these white aircraft spray trails are the result of scientifically verifiable spraying of aluminum particles and other toxic heavy metals, polymers, and chemicals. Millions of tons of aluminum and barium are being sprayed almost daily across the United States, stated Mills, a former naval officer, and you see L.A. graduate, just sprinkle aluminum or barium dust on a fire and see what happens. It's near explosive. Freakish fire in the manner in which it exploded. When wildfires break out, the aluminum barium dust results in levels of fire intensity so great as to cause firefighters to coin a new term, fire nados. Fire nados. The entire United States the entire United States, in addition to various other NATO countries, are being sprayed. The government denies the existence of chemtrail spraying. It now calls the program by various names, all under geoengineering. And according to CAL FIRE Operation Chief Steve Crawford, the fires are burning are burning differently and more aggressively. It has been reported the fires move faster than anyone has ever seen and barriers that in past years contain them, such as rivers, no longer do, such as highways, no longer do. In California's Mount Shasta region, Francis Mangle a USDA biologist tested and found elevated levels of aluminum in water and soil samples of 4,610 parts per million, which is 25,000 times the safe guides, guidelines of the um, coming from the World Health Organization. I will link below to this article. You can read the remainder of it, but Dr. Naomi Wolf today tweeted this. Must read. Found it. Internal document. Yes, USA is a major weather modifier, along with China, UAE, the United Arab Emirates, and India. Yes, Idaho is center of experiments. Yes, private industry. Uh, I guess in or and, I don't know, i.e. the Canadian, or example, um, the Canadian insurance industry, re hell abound with operations worldwide. Um, well, I guess that's uh, Twitter lingo, but found it. Found it. Finally, found it. Do you know how many documents, Naomi Wolf, do you know how many documents have been found that prove that the United States is modifying the weather. Um, I'll get to that document in one second, but here, yes, cloud seeding weather modification is ongoing in many places around the globe. It's included in many state and local budgets in the West. None of this is new, 
information. I'm glad that more and more people are getting it. I'm very glad that Naomi Wolf is looking into this, getting it, and putting it out to the public. Unfortunately, what is going to happen? What's going to be the result? Do you think the liberal progressive Democrats are just suddenly going to wake up because Naomi Wolf is now talking about weather modification? Hopefully that's the case. We'd love for that to be the case. Maybe some will, but yeah, minds are closed and I I really do believe that most people are just going to see Naomi Wolf as just a crazy conspiracy theorist. I guess we'll wait and see. But she has been posting on her YouTube channel, Daily Clout, about the geoengineering. Um, it is very frustrating when you have been researching and posting for seven years and along, you know, along with so many other people who have come up with so many documents, posting on these documents, uh, the evidence, the facts, um, and then you find that people are, well, just, shall I say, perhaps usurping center stage <laughs> on this. Yeah, it's, uh, it is very frustrating. And many people, and I got an email that I'm going to post a video on, um, you know, this subscriber believing that they came across information that hasn't been posted, and it's been posted by so many people, myself included. Um, so, you know, it's like, you're trying your hardest to get the information out there and you have channels, you grow the channel, then you lose the channel and now you're posting on your backup channel and, you know, and then you come across, you know, a lot of people that don't know that you're posting on your backup channel. It's your primary channels are gone. Uh, the near 10,000 videos that you had posted in seven years gone. Um, so when you have people who are communicating in a rather firm way, ah, I found it. And um, as if, you know, it's kind of a slap in the face. Um, here, thank you for continuing your homework in this area, Naomi. Uh, here. Thanks, Dr. Wolf. You do great work. It took a year, but we got there. Now to fight it and shut it down. We need to organize. How do we organize? How do we organize? Oh my God, Naomi Wolf is a Jew. Oh God. Well, you know, I, I got a comment from somebody who said, it's either Patriot or Jew, Naomi? As if somebody has to, um, I don't know, convert to Christianity before they could be a patriot. So, yeah, we've got a major, major problem because we need to unite. That is the only possible way, the only chance we have of all of us uniting and becoming a very powerful force. You know, it's it's not just it's not going to shut down without that. Sorry to say. So this is the document that Naomi found report from export team on weather modification research for 2016-2017. Uh, this report provides an overview of the work of the team 
since the last SSC meeting, and I didn't do the research to find out what the SSC meeting in 2016 in Geneva, what that meeting was, but here it says the expert team, export team, expert team. Um, well, the objective to promote scientific practices and weather modification research, this is done through the Weather Modification Organization expert team on weather modification. You know, it, it's so interesting because high impact vlogs just posted a video including the, the mission statement from the world, uh, from the Weather Modification Organization, their, their mission statement about weather modification. Um, current status of countries active in weather modification, yeah, and I didn't read the entire thing, but what they are talking about is cloud seeding. My God, the technology that they are using to control the weather. Cloud seeding is almost, uh, yeah, they do it, but that is like the primitive method of creating rain or snowfall. There are so many other ways, lasers, that they can hit with clouds and uh, create rain. So. Yeah, this is, uh, of course, all of these documents that we found. Finally, it took me a year, but I found it. They're so whitewashed. They're so candy-coated. They're so, um, we're going to ignore all of these methods of weather modification. We'll talk about cloud seeding because that's what's talked about. So the list of countries active in operational weather modification, China, of course, uh, has the largest investment. United States, um, Thailand, United Arab Emirates, and India have the largest investment after China. Um, here, other major research programs in weather modification to enhance snowpack. Um, <laughs> you know, weather modification Inc., the commercial weather modification company that provides services to so many states that are united in America, that has been known. So many people have posted on it. All of their, their uh, precipitation, aug ag augmentation, uh, snowpack, um, augmentation. It's been going on for years. Idaho, of course. Wyoming, yeah. Montana, yeah. Texas, yeah. Uh, all these. The Sacramento, all of the utility companies involved in weather modification. You know, uh, uh, it's... I'm sorry to say this, but these people who come across these documents and think, wow, now we can stop it. No. No. We need an awful lot more. And Naomi Wolf, a public figure, thank God, thank God, she has finally begun to do the research on geoengineering and weather modification and 5G and the dangers of. We need public figures to be coming out talking about this. But Naomi, we need you also to get on these fires, directed energy weapons, because we are at war and they are using weather as a weapon, fire as a weapon, using directed energy weapons, the flash flooding that has destroyed, oh, I would say over a million Americans, just this year, the hurricanes, Harvey, and, and, the, <coughs> and the, the, the hurricanes, but not hurricanes, that are, well, they take kind of weird turns and they park themselves out on the coast and then they go inland and create an awful lot of flash flooding inland. I mean, the obviousness 
of the weather modification in this country is it's right in our face. So yeah, you want to, you want to kind of, all right, thank God you're on it, Naomi, but could you, could you move a little faster and, and get on the directed energy weapons and get on weather being used as a weapon. It's not just cloud seeding that's happening here. And, and the hardest part is going to be rallying up the uh, troops from the quote unquote awake crowd because there's so much division. Um, uh, you know, yeah, I'll link below to I'll link below to this, but this was a 2016-2017 document, Recent Scientific Achievements, and they're talking about cloud seeding. Yeah. The first was the Wyoming Weather Modification Pilot Project. We've known this. None of this is new. Hate to say it. Um, so... Again, I have not read the entire document. Well, I did pretty much. I didn't realize it was only six pages. Um, but it does just, um, you know, confirm for all of us that this is happening. You know, put it on the pile, put it on the mountain of evidence already discovered, found, and reported on. All links are below. <coughs> oh, actually, before I stop, let me just go through the countries that are involved in weather modification research. Weather, it, it says here that, oh, God, a lot of countries are involved already. Um, we have... Total number of countries active in weather modification programs in 2013, it was 47, which has now increased to 56. 56, 56 countries are involved in modifying the weather. And all of the countries involved in research, it's listed at the end. United States... Kenya, France, Thailand, Israel, Australia, Japan, India, China, and many more. It's not a inclusive list. Have a good night, guys.